Hey guys, uh, after 45 minutes of planned maintenance from Twitch with no warning, the fuck, uh, we're finally back with more Fallout New Vegas on very hard difficulty, on hardcore, with no crosshair. So let me just start up. Might as well show this at the beginning of every recording so no one, so everyone knows I didn't mess with it, because I know I'll get people wondering. So there you go. So we're, uh, we're exactly where we left off, which is to say the game crashed last time, and that's why we're here. But uh, we did actually, yeah, I was on my way over to that shack right over there, because I wanted to show how badly the design this game is, and that you can actually get killed by an enemy that's not supposed to be there. So, uh, but first let's check out the crater, because you can get a little bit of loot in here. That's the game teaching us what fast travel is. You know, the thing I've used multiple times. You really should have a little flag in it to disable that tutorial if you've clearly already done the action. And I think I mentioned it before, but it's worth mentioning again. Very hard to target things to pick up or to look in. Uh, very hard to target things to pick up or look in when you have no crosshair. Yeah, didn't really find anything we use. Now, I'm pretty sure if you look hard enough, there is, uh... I think there's a star bottle cap around here somewhere. But... I don't really feel like hunting for it. Uh... Dorina? No. Dor... Dornia. Dornia? I think that's how you pronounce that. What? A follow game made by Bethesda crashing? That's unheard of! Yep. Okay, now I'm gonna quick save, because this is an area the crosshair isn't on very- No, I just turned it off also, to make it harder. Um, so no enemies are supposed to be right here. This is supposed to be an area you can go right away to loot. However, often there will be a giant rad scorpion that can kill you in one or two hits up here. The reason for that is because just on the other side of this cliff, there are a bunch of giant rad scorpions. They are there to keep you from going. Let me show you. They're there to keep you from skipping straight to New Vegas, which is right up here. They're to keep you from going straight there too early on. So we got Daws over here. We have, um, I forget what they're called, but these giant, uh, like horsefly things over here. We have rad scorpions over here. However, the red scorpions actually often wander too far, which means that sometimes when you come out of this shack, there'll be a red scorpion in your fucking face. This is something they have never patched. So we're gonna see if it happens this time. So red scorpions tend to be, you can see one in the distance moving around. You can see two of them actually, but they're not supposed to come over here. Hi, Sneaky Columbus. Alright. We can, uh, we can do some stuff in here. Get a little bit of ammunition and whatnot. I actually could use these scrap electronics for later. Yeah, we could take a machete. That's some decent loot. Lad's life. I actually forget what that does. I think that is survival. Yep, plus 10 survival tempor temporarily. Alright. Not a whole lot in here, but just nice little stuff. And you can sleep here, of course. Not that you'd ever want to come here again. Chat's filling up quickly. We're gonna back off. Just keep an eye out there. All right, we did it. We didn't get mauled by enemies that weren't supposed to be there. And we don't, and you see, they're also in that direction as well. So they can wander up from multiple ways. They're not supposed to, but that doesn't stop them from doing it. Moving the microphone a little bit closer. Uh, how's the audio, everyone at home? Haven't streamed in a while, but with all the internet issues. Oh yeah, I forgot this was a thing. 
hollowed out rocks. And we have a shovel, so let's go grave digging. Here we go. Now we don't need all of this. Although a plasma rifle is a good find. I actually didn't know you could find a plasma rifle this early. Not that we use energy weapons, but still could be good for selling. Or good for an emergency, if we're fighting up close and running low on ammo. Audio is great. Awesome. Alright, we're going dead south. We could go up to, uh, to Sloan, but that's just fucking asking for it. <laughs> I say that because often a, uh, that, that's in the general outskirts of the area with the death claws, and you're supposed to be able to talk to everybody there and get some quests there and stuff, but sometimes the death claws will wander too far in your direction, and by wander too far in your direction, I mean they will slaughter the entire village of people. <laughs> And we're gonna dress up like a powder ganger. Because there's some up ahead. They don't wanna tip off right away. Get a little bit of fresh coyote meat. What is that over there? We really need bina uh, binoculars. Med kit! That's what it looked like. That's quite useful, actually. Just looking around. Alright. So we can afford to get quite close to these guys. In fact, what did we hotkey? The shotgun is hotkey to that five. Five is our single shot. Shotgun. That's not sneak attack. Yeah, I don't need a tire iron. And now that we've killed these guys, or this guy, the enemies are gonna show up soon. Because after you've shown up here, is when it uh, spawns two more people. You see? But if you're already dressed up like them... Oh no, they actually... Oh, okay. Who's there? Come on! Got him right in the head. Alright. Slaughtered them. And uh, how good's our repair on that? Not worth doing yet. I want to remind people that this is on very hard difficulty, with no crosshair, and on hardcore. This is not a hard game. That's the whole kind. Of, that's kind of the point of me doing this stream, is that it's not a hard game. I've never played it on anything less than this difficulty. It's just not hard. Take the, take the shotgun that's actually worth a damn. There you go. What's the penalty for dying in hardcore mode? Same as anything else, you just revive at the last uh, save. Okay, let me get my bearings a little bit. Uh, now, one of the, now normally the game doesn't get this dark. Hope you can see okay, but kind of the intention is that you don't see very well. I'll turn on my, uh, pip light there. It helps a little. Although we get spotted more easily. Maybe we should keep that off. Uh, normally the game does not get this dark. However, I have the Fallout texture pack on, which makes the lighting a lot better, and it gets very, very dark at night. It, uh, makes things a lot better, I find. Let's have something to eat. We picked up some maize earlier. Not that. Seeing is a little tricky. Yeah, it's pretty dark for me as well. That was a sneak attack? Well, apparently the non-sneak attack one ravaged him. Whoa, okay. Whoa. 
Whoa! Must have thrown some dynamite. That uh, got me pretty low health. You need to be careful. It's dangerous out here. So the first, so he'll randomly spawn if you get really low health on the first fight with very low health. I was hoping he wouldn't spawn on this one. Yeah, I actually have an area I can wait out till morning soon. Yep. Yep, bye now. Let me just loot this first. And I don't want the bloat flies to attack me. There's some bloat flies in this area. I don't have much health. Got another shotgun. Though. For some reason it counts as stealing if you pick up the ammo around here, even though it's for dead powder gangers, and usually the game doesn't care if it's an enemy like that. I don't do wrestling streams uh, very often, mostly just because I don't do streams very often with all the problems I've been recently. I think. There we go, we have a star cap there. And, uh, there's no bed in here, but we can just wait if we want to. I'd prefer to sleep, though, because then I get an ex. I wish there was a take all except this thing button. Okay, as you can tell from the annoying heartbeat sound effect, uh, we got pretty fucked up there. So let's play it safe. We're, we are idolized over in Good Springs, so that's a good place to stay. Uh, first of all, we want to get patched up. We've got a decent amount of money, and we have a lot of things to sell. That was an odd audio glitch. That's two audio glitches in 20 seconds, says a guy. Uh, could be Twitch. Wake up. That was a hell of a fight. Let's hope it... Yep, that was a hell of a fight. Can you guys hear okay now? Yeah, I don't need boxing gloves. I have a lot of dynamite I can sell. You know what, let's actually hold on to a lot of this stuff for now. Pleasure doing business with you. Auto sounds fine now, good. Keep forgetting you can't hit a skip to get out of a conversation. I still find that very annoying. It was on Twitch's end? Okay. Yay! Which means it'll come out in the recording, because fucking Twitch is the one recording this. They did a great job on that maintenance, didn't they? Yeah, I'm not gonna steal from this guy, even if it doesn't count like stealing. Because I'll be nice. How are you holding up? I'm hurt. It don't look like nothing too serious. You fucking kidding me? I'm almost out of health, asshole. Okay, apparently I'm good now. And that healed my limbs, right? Good, just making sure. Can I use his bed? No. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's keep moving. Oh, right. I forgot there was the semi-quest of uh, Mr. Guy who wanted me to save his girl. I'm gonna go do that. Yeah, you over there. Yeah, I'm on to you. All right, good, we got the shotgun ready. Just making sure we've got our best weapon. Got the better of the two armors on, that's good. Let's actually repair those together now. All right. This is where we hunt. Reminder, uh, you do deal less damage and enemies have more health on very hard difficulty. These just don't tend to have a whole lot of health. 
this isn't a particularly strong rifle. But sneak, uh, sneak attack headshots are still a massive modifier. Okay. Well, my radar detects some guys in that area. By my radar, I mean my perception radar. There's one. I just was waiting for it to move. Really do need to get my small gun skill up more. It's a bit imprecise. I shot a rock thinking that it was it. Is he gonna come after me? Yes. Okay. Good time to level. Wow, that's a small target. Ugh. Well, I'm hard I'm hard to spot, but so are the enemies. Huh. Guess they lost sight of me. Okay, we can up that to fifty. And gun skill is simply very high priority for me early on. It makes the waver of the guns go down. It also makes the spread of the guns go down. You can see how the hand shakes a little bit. That's, uh, that's not the mouse. The mouse shaking would be like this. And of course, when I have it on hip fire, you can see it move around quite a bit. I'm actually going to keep the uh, shotgun out for a second. Is there really one ahead of me? I don't see it. So I get a better vantage point. Oh, am I not allowed to jump up here? Uh, kinda? Not very reliable. Okay, this requires weapon change. We're good. Thought I saw one. I believe that there are maybe two geckos left. In case one sneaks up on me. This shotgun is actually decently accurate at range if you manage to make some slugs for it. And I do very much like slugs and shotguns. That was an easy kill. Whoa! Alright, this area is clear. Now where is he? There you are, buddy! Sorry I tricked you, but thanks for clearing out the geckos. Now I can get to that stash up there, after I deal with you. Here. Yeah. Beat me to death with a melee weapon. That's gonna work. It is a good pipe, though. Return of the Gecko. Are you just, what, gex? Enter the gecko? <laughs> Shit like that? 
Oh, right. Forgot that these were here. So yeah, there's just a tiny bit of loot up here and nothing major. I believe there might be a 10 millimeter pist pistol up here. Yeah, that's kind of the reason you do this. How much ammo do I have for that pistol, actually? Quite a bit. Uh, what is my three? My weapon on three? Okay, my three weapon is the pistol. I will switch that to the 10 millimeter pistol, which is just a better weapon. Uh, now there's a hidden, hidden place we can find the beaten path if we stick to the far right of the map here, which we can get a very useful item in. So that's our next uh, place we're going to go. Also, I know where to get some easy binoculars coming up. And binoculars are quite useful. Kind of gameplay changing mod I have is actually one that makes the binoculars not completely useless. Because the problem with the binoculars is it doesn't increase your draw distance at all. So sometimes things will just fade out of existence. Because of the point of binoculars. This helps fix that. You know, I don't think anything's here, but let's play it safe and have our shotgun ready. We're good. Wasteland Survival Guide. This is what we wanted. Oops, I want to go on aid. Survival plus three. Permanent. There are also bottle caps on the ground. They're fucking impossible to pick up without a crosshair. There we go. One of them was a star one for people who collect those. There are also sensor modules in here, which are worth quite a bit for their weight. All right, we're done here. I keep getting distracted by things on the other monitor because uh, weird little glitch with this game. If you have multiple monitors, Every once in a while, things will get highlighted on your other monitor as if your mouse were to be over it when it isn't. It's just another weird programming thing with this game. I believe it does it with Oblivion as well. Any game they made in this specific engine. Did it say I was thirsty? Yes. Oh, where the hell did they go? Yeah, they scattered. Where is... Heh. There's a trailer somewhere along the line that you can go to and kill a few dudes. Loot. Can't seem to spot it, probably because it's so dark. Although it might not spawn until you've gotten close enough to it. You know how this game is. Draw distance and whatnot. And the game is set to its maximum draw distance. You'd kind of be a fool not to. Or have a really terrible computer. There you are! Really? You're gonna keep coming? Whoa! Okay. Did I get crit? 
What was that? It was silent. Okay. Where am I? Okay, I already did Lone Wolf Radio. Good. Alright, let's actually move to the road. There you are. Let's actually uh, stim pack. Remember, this is on hardcore, so stim packs heal over time rather than immediately. Where is that other body? There it is. Yeah, let's move to the road where we can see a bit better. This is why I hate moving at night. Thought I saw movement by those Brock flowers. How many of them are there? Two, okay. Video freakouts. I think that this game doesn't, like, X-Split very much. Not entirely sure. Did everyone at home get that audio freak out too? And did they hear me during it? That's a better question. Really? Yeah, the audio started to stutter in the stream skipped. Christ. But when you hear, but when you guys hear the uh, the audio repeat, like just go for a second, does it cut out my audio as well? I really hate waiting for answers in the chat because the massive delay. That's one of the only rad scorpions in the game. Wow, it gets his health back quickly? What the fuck? Forgot that this game this gun has really weird slow kickback. Yes it does, but only for a split second. It cuts out your audio for me. Oh my god. I love the frustrations of streaming. Love it so much. Pretty sure it's just once again this game hating everything. It has enough crashing issues as is. Hey, where the hell do you think you're going? Prim is off limits. Eh, sure. Some convicts from the prison up the road have taken over the town. Everyone inside is either dead or in hiding. What's more, there are two tribes of raiders causing trouble in this area as well. You'd be safer heading back up to Good Springs. We'd love to, but they don't fall under NCR jurisdiction. Even if they did, we're in no shape to protect them. Be careful. You may want to talk to Lieutenant Hayes. He's in a tent down the road. Just stay on the west side of the overpass if you don't want to get shot. Uh, all right, I'm gonna test something. Um, I'm gonna change a setting that may fix the audio. However, it may change the frame rate to 30 instead of 60. It probably will. 
Uh, it probably will, um, but I'm gonna have to give it a try. Um, it also means the stream will be down for like three minutes maybe, so don't go anywhere. Let me get this fixed. <clears throat> 